Welcome to this show. Time elapsed until training starts. Let's find out how long it takes until flight deck starts and is ready for operation. The default airport is Zurich in Switzerland. This can be changed by you in the settings menu. We will check if the aircraft specifications are correct. You can change these parameters according to your needs. Next we check if the attached hardware is functioning. Here we do use the Thrustmaster Airbus hardware shown in the image. We can adjust some more settings before we start training. Here we select a different time of the day. Weather related settings can be set on this page, we leave it now to the default settings. To bring the aircraft into flight quickly, we use the quick set icons above. I did choose the begin of the arrival to runway 14 in Zurich. The program tells us now, that we should bring the hardware into the correct configuration. Fuel switch is on, thrust levers to climb position. Now we can challenge ourselves with some malfunctions. Let's fail the system's data acquisition concentrator first. The failure is active. There is not much to do for us at this stage. The status page shows the current status of all systems. Now we would like to worsen our situation and choose another malfunction. We simulate now a short circuit in the aircraft alternate current system number 2. This failure should activate in 20 seconds. Here the schematic of the electrical system of the Airbus with two independent generators. The electrical power system consists of a 3-phase 115-volt AC system and a 28-volt DC system. The failure is now active. We lost 3 of our 6 display units. As a consequence we to also lose the remaining system data acquisition concentrator number 2. To display the different systems, we have to push and hold the corresponding ACAM button down. Note that most of the indications are now crossed out in amber. The status page is giving us an overview of all systems that are affected. Push and hold that button, then push the button again to check the overflow page. Stack 1 and 2 are inoperative. With this failure you should monitor the overhead panel. This concludes this topic for now. Thank you.